Now, uh, I mentioned earlier that we asked fans to email us questions for Shania at cmt.com, and now there were a lot of questions, and we saw everything from a, a tea invite in Britain to a, a party in Brazil, people from Argentina, Canada, Holland, Israel, not to mention everywhere from here in the States. So really all over the place. Wow. Your fan base is really international, which you know. Cool. And I, uh, I have a few right here now. Um, here's one from Maria in Brazil. Okay. Maria says, Shania... I've heard videos take a long time to shoot, but they're only about three minutes long. So I was just wondering, what do you do while you're not in front of the camera? What do you do? <sighs> well, are you uh, a video game fan? You, I don't, you don't strike me as. I, are you kidding? Yeah, I you love are? I love video games. Really? Um, yeah, I, I I love that kind of stuff. I love that. I, I don't get a lot of time to do it. Really, when you're making a video, you are you know constantly, constantly busy. There's mm -hmm. no time to do anything else right. except, you know, touch up, change your wardrobe. Hurry up and wait. And, well, I don't find there's a lot of sitting around and waiting time making videos. So just hurry up, get to it. <laughs> hurry up, get to it, uh, not much break time. Yeah. And, you know, because I mean, they do, they have to, you know, reset lighting and camera shots and all that sort of thing, but it, when you make videos, there's always more than one camera and lighting mm -hmm. setup. Mm -hmm. So they're overlapping, setting up the next shot. Sure. Yeah. So it's pretty. It can be pretty much back to back a lot of the time. All right, there you go. And uh, the next one is from uh, Jamie in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, Jamie says, "So many people I know, including me, would love you to record an acoustic album. Are there any plans for one?" That's mm. a good question. I'd love to do that. Well, I know, like at the Flame Worthies, we saw you perform with Alison Krauss yeah. at Union Station, Forever mm -hmm. and For Always, and it was really moving and really incredible because. You know, it's, it wasn't this huge production. It was That's a really right. stripped That's down, right. beautiful yeah. version. So, I, I would love to do that, and I'm sure I will in, at some point. Yeah. You know, when I when I was younger and just singing in bars, um, before I got my recording contract, I all my original music I did only on acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. I just sat there and played my original song, mostly because I snuck them into the set because I was just doing top forty stuff, and the club owner. Mm -hmm really didn't like it when I did original stuff. So I never made a big, um, you know, it was never like a big band thing with my original songs. It right. was always just me and my guitar, and I snuck it in there. And um, that would be just really natural and very enjoyable for me to do. So When you write songs, do you use guitar, use piano, both? Um, I, I use piano every once in a while for mm -hmm. melody. Mm -hmm. And it inspires me to use different chord progressions because it's just it's just a completely different thing altogether. Right. Um, not just not just sound wise, um, your fingers just go somewhere different. Mm -hmm. So I do do that often enough, but for the most part, because a guitar is so easy to travel with, right. Mutt and I we're two guitar family. He always says, and we travel everywhere with our two guitars, and um, and write. Mostly on guitar. All right, well, we'll look for an acoustic album soon. There you go, Maria.